What's up everyone, it's Nick from Mining Office and today we have our follow-up video on Chives where I'm going to show you guys how to get up and running. I'm going to go through the setup with you guys, managing the database and then getting plotting with Mad Max. So basically all the steps you need to get farming Chives. So let's get to it. If you hop back over to their main website here and go to the download section, these are the two links you'll need. So the first thing is going to be the GitHub releases. So click on that and that'll open up a new window here uh, showing you the latest release. So the latest release of Chives is version 1.1.906. And if you scroll down a bit, it'll show you the release notes. And further down in the assets section, you have the Chives setup.exe, which you'll need to download and execute in order to get started. So go ahead and get that. And once you run the exe you'll be greeted with a window like this from windows defender firewall you're gonna have to give it access at least on private networks so allow access and now you'll notice this looks a lot like the chia gui right uh, that's because it's based on the same thing again it's a chia fork so expect more or less the same thing if you've gone through the setup for chia before this is going to be really easy for you so in our case we don't have a uh, a chives wallet set up so we're going to go and do that now if you already have one you can import from your mnemonics here but we're going to create a new private key so welcome the following words are used for your wallet backup without them you will lose access to your wallet keep them safe write down each word along with the order number next to them order is important so I'm not going to show you guys, but you're going to hit next. It's going to show you your 24 uh, word mnemonic phrase. Write that down on two separate pieces of paper and keep them in separate locations. And after that, I'll check back in with you guys. So once you've done that, the Chives GUI opens up. You'll see the status is sinking. We're quite a bit behind here, 11,000 on 645,000. So we're not going to wait till that completes. There's actually a way to make it go faster. So that's what we'll get on to next. If you go back to the home page, the second download link here is for blockchain database. So you're going to want to go get that. It'll bring you to this link here. Okay. So you're going to want to click on the download and get that. And just quickly, here's the installation for windows. It says unzip the archive and place it in C users, your username dot chives mainnet dot DB. So this is going to be the folder for the database. All right. Download this, unzip it, copy paste it and you'll be good to go just what we're going to do first before we do that is actually shut down um, our gui here let it close and then we're good to download like i said so the database at this point is pretty big uh, at the time of me downloading it it is 3.3 gigabytes and that's zipped and it will just get larger with time all right once it's downloaded extract it into the folder location they told you under your user dot chives mainnet db so we're just going to use seven zip here we're going to go extract files and we are going to choose our location to extract this there we go we'll hit ok and we'll let that run so by default you only have these two files here this is what i just extracted so we're just going to go in here uh, we're going to cut this and we're going to paste it over the database that's already in here, right? So we'll replace that. So you can see now this file is six gigabytes and we should be good to go. At this point, you're good to open up your Chives GUI and you'll see right now the status syncing. Look at the number here. So 613,000 on 647,000. So you really jump up in that syncing progress. We only, we're only about 30,000 behind now and you can see the connection status is connected. So at this point, you know, you know it worked when the number here has changed. And uh, at this point, we're pretty much ready to plot. I just want to also say that you do not need to be synced to start plotting. So like I said, you don't have to wait till you're up to that 647,000 here. We can go ahead and get into a Mad Max plotter right away. And again, you can do the plotting through this graphical user interface, right? You can go here to plot and add a plot if you currently have them already on your hard disk. If not, you can plot. We'll go here. The first thing you can do is select your plot size. Now this is actually important because it's different than with Chia. Chia uses a minimum plot size of K32 uh, and going up to K35, I think. And here you can see that the minimum is actually K25 and the largest you can do is K31. So different plot sizes. And that also means that you can probably farm these in parallel. Let's say you would want to fill up your drives in general with uh, larger Chia plots and then fill out the remaining space with Chives plots. You could do that, though I don't recommend it right now because Chives is more profitable. So if you want to do uh, parallel plots or in a queue, you can select that here. You can select how many plots you want to do. 
and there are some advanced options here if you want to select the number of threads and RAM usage. So you can set this depending on your system specifics. Afterwards, you also have to select a temporary drive. All right, so this space is temporary. It's used for the plotting, but it's liberated afterwards. And the final directory is where the proof of space time plot will be stored. Now we're going to talk about Mad Max Plotter for a little bit. So why use this over the basic GUI plotter? Well, from my research, it seems like Mad Max Plotter is more efficient, so you'll get faster plotting, and that's what this is all about. Obviously, once your disks are populated, your plotter doesn't really matter, but when you have a brand new disk and you wanna get plots on there ASAP, faster plots is just plain better. So if this is more efficient, I'm gonna use it. Now this is the main page for it and the link you want is going to be dependent on your OS obviously. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom of this page you'll have it for Windows here and here you'll have the link to the built binary so you just click on this link here and it opens up the uh, Mad Max Chia Plotter build for Windows. This is version 0.1.6 and you can see here dash chives. So this version of the plotter was specifically released to support chives plotting. That's good timing and let's get to using it. So like any other thing we usually grab from the GitHub, we're going to just grab the zip file here and go from there. Once you unzip and open up the contents, you'll see there are four files in there. There's two of them you're going to want to open up in Notepad. These two here, so readme.txt and the plot with log command. So I already have them open here. Let's take a look at that. I'm not going to go through the readme in depth, all right? You guys can go through it for yourselves. But again, a few arguments are going to be key here. Notably for chives is going to be this one. So uh, this port argument I don't think is there by default. You're going to have to add the dash x and then add 9699 for the chives port. I think all the rest is the same between chives and chia. We will set the plot size depending on what we want. And I won't really mess around with too many of the other settings like uh, thread count and stuff like that, all right? So to my understanding, what we need to get this up and running is going to be our farmer key here and our pool key. So uh, if we look in the plot with log, you'll see what the bat file looks like. It calls the chiaplot.exe that we saw before. And here's for the number of plots. We're setting one plot. And then notably here, you have the directory. This is your temporary directory here. This is where most of the read writing will be done. And this D argument here is for your permanent directory where the plot will be stored. So right away here, even in front of T, I'm going to add in the X argument for the port and put in 9699 for Chia. So that'll be done. We won't forget it. I'm also going to add in the K argument for plot size and set that to 30 as we're going to be testing with a K30 size plot just for this experiment. I think that takes about 24 or 25 gigs. And now onto the pool key and the farmer key. I think the easiest way to get those keys would just be to go to plots, add a plot, uh, don't do anything special here, just browse to your temp directory and here select your final directory, create a plot and here in view log you'll be able to find that information. You can see here your pool public key is listed there and the farmer public key is listed right below it. So I'm just going to copy all this information to a notepad for my reference later. Once you have those keys, go ahead and replace them in the batch file like I showed you before for the dash P and dash F arguments. And the last thing you should have to do is replace your directories here. So this is going to be your temporary directory. So replace this in your batch file with your temporary directory. I'm just using my D drives chives temp folder. Afterwards, you set your final directory, which is where the plot will be stored. So for myself, it's on P drive chives plot. After that, you're good to go. Just open up wherever your Mad Max plotter is and you can double click on this plot with log command. It should open up a command window and you should get something like this. So you can see we're running on network port 9699, which is for chives. You can see the final directory, the number of plots, the process ID, the number of threads and the number of buckets. So you'll see your pool and farmer public keys you put in there, uh, the working directory, which is your temp directory, the plot name, and then you have the output. So basically, that's it, guys. I just want to let you know that I am plotting from one hard disk to another hard disk, so I'm not using an SSD or a RAM disk or anything like that. So the plotting process will be slower than if I was using an SSD, but I don't really want to burn one out for now. I'm just doing this for a test to test out the Mad Max plotter. We'll get our first plot, and maybe we'll explore some different things in a future video. So if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing to my channel. If not, have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.